Now I'm going to discuss about the topic mail merge, which is very important to create multiple payslips as well as invoices in a very short time. My name is Emmanuel. I'm the founder and chief trainer of Excel GAN. To use mail merge, we need two applications. One is Excel application and we need a Word application. So in Excel application, we have a data of an employees. Payslip uh, information is there, like basic HRA, DA, gross, PF, PT, net. So what are the information which is required in the payslip uh, is there in the proper structure in Excel application. <coughs> now in the word, we have the format of the payslip. Now we need to merge the Excel application as well as Word application. Now I'll show how to merge it. It is very, very simple. So for that, in Word application, we have an option called as mailing. Under the mailing, we have an option called start mail merge. So once we click on it, we'll get a multiple option. So whichever the format that you want it, you can go it. But maximum we go with step-by-step -step mail merge wizard option. So once we click on it, we'll get a step-by-step -step instructions. So for first instruction, it should be letter. Then click on to the next. Second, use the current document. So you can use the current document which is on, to your, on your computer as well as if you have any existing format that also you can use it. So at present I'm using the current document and let me click on to the next option that is select recipients. So once we click on it, it's asking use an existing list like if you have an existing list you can take it or select from the Outlook contacts. So in your Outlook application if you have any contacts you can select from that and type a new list. If you want to type a new list, you can use it. But here we want to merge another application. So let me click onto the browse. So once we click onto the browse, it will give you a window where we can browse. So on the desktop, we have the employee information. So employee data, once I click on it, now the Excel is getting, so sorry, the word is getting merged with Excel application. So once I click onto this option, it's showing the number of sheets so as of now we have one sheet in the application so once we click on it it populating the data it's populating the data just we click by clicking on ok the merging part has been completed so once the merging part has been completed under mail merge option you will find an option called as insert fields you will find an option called insert fields so here for in the place of name i'll be inserting the name field and employee ID place I'll be inserting the employee ID and the basic place I'll be inserting the basic field so in the same way I'm clicking on I'm inserting the HRA DA gross in the place of PF I'm inserting the PF and in the place of PT I'm inserting the PT and by inserting the uh, in the place of net i'm inserting the net so by inserting these fields your pattern is done now to finish this mail merge we will find an option called as finish mail merge so once we click on it we will find a three different option like edit individual document so normally we use this op uh, option to create a number of pay slips or invoices and uh, we use uh, print document if you want to directly print through the uh, your printing machine you can use the print document and send a mail by clicking on this option it will give you an option to select your recipients and subject line such a way that once we click on ok this each and every uh, document will go to their respective mail id as an attachment so it will go to their body of mail uh, sorry, it's, it, so it will go to their individual mail as a body of the mail so in this case uh, it, so as of now i will be creating the individual documents so for that by clicking on the edit individual document once we click on it it will ask from which page to which page you need it or you want all so since i need an all so once by clicking on OK, now we can see it's getting a process. So totally, 
where you can see it's uh, it's uh, the um, now where you can see the pay slips are getting generated now till now we have completed 54 it's getting processed so totally we have the oh, 277 employees data so 277 employees pay slips will get created now it's got created so i'll scroll down and show you so one two three so all the pay slips got created here so normally to create 277 pay slips it will take a lot of time but by using this option within a five minutes you can create n number of pay slips or invoices or whichever the documents that you want it for more information you can contact us thank you